159. Vehicle internal. 155. Launch sequencer start. 150. Hearing Centaur LH2. Hearing Centaur lock. 140. Launch enabled. T minus 90 seconds. The launch vehicle, payload, ground systems, and eastern range are go for launch. 120. Orca is armed. FCS count started. Reduce ECS for launch. Roger. Vent valves locked. T minus one minute. Status. Range green. Forty. Staple at step three. Twenty-eight. ECS reduced for launch. Roger. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Go Muos Five. T minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ignition and lift off of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying the fifth mobile user objective system satellite for the United States Navy. MUO significantly enhances communications for U.S. forces on the move. program is complete. Mark one. Booster action signatures look good. And booster has throttled back up. Max Q. RD-180 is performing well for the uh, set MR. All signatures look good. Currently flying at an altitude of 10 miles, downrange distance 6.8 miles, current velocity 2,400 miles per hour. And yeah, booster has throttled back right on schedule. Signatures look good. You are hearing the voice of Marty Milanowski. This will be chamber pressures at part two, looking data. for burnout momentarily. And the SRBs have burned out. Booster will throttle back up momentarily, and we have begun throttling back up. Signatures continue to look good. Looking for SRB jettison. And we have jettisoned all five SRBs at this time. Signatures look good. Closed loop steering has been enabled. Minor body rates associated with closed loop control. Current altitude, 36 miles, downrange distance, 46 miles, current velocity, 4,580 miles per hour. Range track looks good. RD-180 continues to perform well. Bus and battery voltages are stable. Tank pressures look good. Coming up on our 2.5G throttle segment. And the booster has begun throttling to maintain 2.5Gs for payload fairing separation.
Engine performance continues to look good. Maintain our 2.5G throttle segment. Tank pressures look good. Bus and battery voltages are good as well. And we have indication of payload fairing jettison. And CFR jettison. We have now throttled back up to 95%. Engine response looks good. And we've begun throttling to maintain our 4.6G segment in preparation for a shutdown. Boost phase cooldown is underway. And boost phase chill down is complete. Coming up on Beco momentarily. And we have Beco. Engine shutdown looks good. We have retros and stage separation. We have locks and fuel pre-start. GM2 purge fire into the RCS is underway. We have ignition and full thrust on the RL10. Centaur steering has been enabled. Signatures look good. RL10. Chamber pressures, pump discharge, and fuel venturi all within expected parameters. And we've seen some RCS thermal conditioning firings, prepping that system for use during the burn. Signatures look good. Centaur PU has gone to closed loop control as well. This is Atlas Mission Control at T plus 5 minutes, 32 seconds. Marty Malinowski just confirmed the successful completion of the early phase of today's flight, and all systems continue to operate nominally. The mission is currently in the first of three Centaur engine burns. Our next event, Centaur main engine cutoff, will occur in approximately seven minutes. <laughs> 